Concrete 5, we made it easy to install add-ons and themes without any technical know-how. You can just connect your site to our community and do everything with a couple of clicks. Let me show you how it works. The key to making this work is remembering that you have two different accounts. One account for editing your own site and one account on Concrete5.org, the community. Your own site might look like this, or it might look significantly different, but regardless, you log into it, possibly through a page that looks something like this, and you get the Concrete 5 editing toolbar across the top. As you navigate your site, you can make changes to content by putting the page in edit mode. You've been through all that. Concrete5.org, on the other hand, looks like this. You may have already been to our marketplace and shopped for add-ons and themes. Um, perhaps you've even purchased something. You already have an account here. Uh, that's great if you do. If you don't, we can make one as part of this process. Let me show you how it works. We'll go back to your own site. And since we logged in as an admin, we can bring up the dashboard. And we'll go to add functionality. You can see the sidebar here says we're not connected to the community and gives me a button to do so. This brings up concrete5.org securely in an iframe. And we can make a little project page for our site right now. Showing how to do this. We'll just scroll down here, accept the terms. And you can see we can either log in with an existing concrete5.org web uh, account, or we could create a new one right here. Just put a password and email in. I'm going to log in with one I've already made. And we'll connect this site. Now you can see this message has changed on the side. We've got a link to our project page, and we can check for updates. So let's bring up the project page in a new window. Okay, so I'm already logged into concrete5.org with that account, so I can see this secure page. And you can see here's the URL it found my website at, and here's the name and description we put in. And I can do cool stuff from this page. I could submit it to our showcase. Uh, you could create a support incident if you wanted, and you can also add stuff to your project. I'll just scroll down on this page, and you can see there's a place to list all the add-ons and themes that you've associated with the project. I've already got some licenses I've purchased with this account, and if I go through, I can associate them here with the project. As I associate each one, you can see it's listed out. You can get support from here. You can also write a review, which is very helpful. And if you have to rebuild your site from scratch or your site is no longer working and you want to use those licenses for something else, you can release them from this project. That'll make those licenses available for another install somewhere else. Now when we go back to our own website, all we have to do is reload this add functionality page. The sidebar that told us how to get to our project page before now lists some new things ready for download. And I can go through one by one, download and install these add-ons. Just a couple of clicks and I've installed the calendar and the Flickr add-on. And if I go back to my front end of my website, you'll see it's made the simple calendar page. The add-on page types have all been added and uh, I'm ready to start playing around. The last trick I'll show you is the management team part of the project page. Let's say you've got a group of developers that are all working on the same project and different developers have different licenses in their own accounts. Or perhaps you've made two accounts on concrete5.org and now you want to install licenses from one of them onto a project page that you connect with the other. Well, if you go to the management team section of your project page, you can grab any other account on concrete5.org and add them. So I've associated Andrew and Franz with this project on concrete5.org. And if I were to log in as either one of those accounts, I could associate a license with this project page as well. I couldn't automatically install it on the separate site. There's no ability to push content from concrete5.org down to your own site. You have to log in as an admin and go to the add functionality tab to pull content down when you want to. This is a good thing to do periodically. You can also check for updates on any of the add-ons that you've installed from the marketplace. 
So that's how you can connect your site to the community and some of the handy reasons why you should.